Wes, hi, mean friend, and welcome to another video. It is quite fascinating, my dear friends, to see that much shilling from uh, the side of certain fan sites, quote unquote, and how much certain fan sites can go out of their way to lick the boots of Prime Video, but at the same time claiming they have always been talking fans and aficionados. Please look at the screen. This, of course, comes from the website of the OneRing.net, and it says TV Awards season has begun now. What do you think they are talking about, my dear friends? Of course they are talking about the Rings of Power, or the Rings of Prime, as I like to say. And uh, they are, of course, shilling for it and hoping that uh, this abhorrent TV show will get some awards, such as Emmys and so on and so forth. But uh, let me tell you, or let me ask you, rather, do you think that this show deserves some rewards? Now, of course, if you've been following my channel for quite some time, you know that I have covered this many times in many of my videos. And even before the show came out, I had made videos uh, in which I told you that there is no chance that the Prime video could uh, do Professor Tolkien uh, justice and that they could honor the source material properly. Well, of course, they didn't. The first show came and went, and uh, it's fortunately slowly being forgotten by the audience. It's just a fart in the wind. And uh, but if we are, if we are to look go uh, to look back and go back and look at it, we know that. Uh, so firstly, it's not really adapting the appendices to the Lord of the Rings, to which they claim they have got the rights. Um, they have hinted upon certain events that uh, are mentioned in the appendices. But otherwise, this is 100% constructed material with uh, characters that uh, are nothing like the characters from uh, The Lord of the Rings. Definitely not um, those Amazon's original characters, but nor are the characters that uh, have the names of uh, the characters from The Lord of the Rings. So Galadriel and Amazon's version of Galadriel, do you think she's got anything to do with Galadriel from Tolkien's books? Well, absolutely bloody not. Look at what they did to their version of Sauron. They have made him into Halbrand, a bloke. Now, come on. What do you think? And, and, and the bad writing and the horrible plot lines and, and really plot holes... Uh, just the origin of Mithril, or the origin, their origin of Mordor. And there I thought that um, those uh, nasty-looking areas and volcanoes were created by Morgoth. Well, apparently not. Apparently, according to Prime Video, they were created by a turn of a key. And water that uh, just got into a volcano and then the volcano erupted. And there was a pyroclastic flow that didn't hurt the main characters because that was good for, for I suppose, the story. <laughs> it's absolutely preposterous. But to go to detail, it, in, as far as the individual episodes go, just go back and watch my reviews. I have got reviews of the individual episodes of The Rings of Power on my channel. Now... Let us read the short uh, well, message that uh, the OneRing.net have written, and then I will comment further upon it. So it says, It's that time of year, awards season has begun. While the Emmys are many months away, many critics, groups and craft guilds will be honouring the best in film and television for 2022 over the next few months. Already, The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, has received a nomination for the People's Choices Awards for Best Sci-Fi Fantasy Show. Voting has closed. And Bear McCreary received a Hollywood Music and Media Award nomination for Best Score, TV Show slash Limited Series, losing out to the composers of 1883. Today, the 28th Annual Critics' Choices Awards television nominations were announced. While Rings of Prime did not get nominated for Best Drama Series, well, one has to wonder why. Congratulations are in order for Ismail Cruz Cordova for being nominated for Best Supporting Actor in a Drama Series. Ismail recently received the Breakthrough Actor Award for Television at the Critics' Choice Association second annual celebration of Latino cinema and television in November. The Critics' Choice Awards will be broadcast live on uh, the CW on Sunday, January the 15th, 2023. 
Now, there is no wonder that uh, The Rings of Prime hasn't been nominated for the best drama series. Now, come on, like, are we from the Mars? No, I think that we are from the Earth, so we know what's going on. Uh, but if I had to give the award for the best drama, as far as fantasy goes, right, because this is a fantasy-oriented channel, for, of uh, 2022, I, was, I would most certainly give it to House of the Dragon. Now, given, of course, the competition is that t isn't that tough, is it? And if you've been following my channel for quite some time, if it were up to me, I would cancel all adaptations, all prequels, sequels, all uh, spin-offs and rip-offs, just get rid of it. Right? Just go and create something new, create something original. Just put the work in, put the hours in, put the money in, and create something new for us and for the younger ones to enjoy so that we have something legendary, something iconic to talk about in 20 years. The same way we are talking about all the good stuff from the 80s, 90s, and even earlier than that. But no, no, of course, this is uh, much easier. It is absolutely lazy to just trying to rip off and milk old IPs and franchises over and over again. But if I really had to pick one fantasy TV show of this year to give uh, an award to, it would be House of the Dragon. And then look at Mr. Ismail Cruz Cordova. Now, I abhor the show. I don't like it at all. And I have stated that many times before. But once again, if I had to give an award for uh, the best supporting actor in a drama and if i had to give that uh, to somebody from the rings of power it wouldn't be to ismail cruz cordova we know why they are doing it it's simple virtue signaling now they are calling us istophobes but it is them who are acting in an absolutely istophobe way just be uh, judging people based on their looks based on their origin based on how many boxes they check so, I do absolutely, 100% would give the award to uh, the actor who portrayed uh, the uh, King Viserys in House of the Dragon, uh, Paddy Considine, of course, uh, because his portrayal of the king was extraordinary, uh, especially in the later, well, all throughout the series. But uh, that, that would be my first choice, Paddy Considine. But, but if I had to choose one from the Rings of Power... It would be really Joseph Maul, the one, uh, I think it's Joseph, is it? The one who portrayed Ardar, because the show might have been shit, and the writing might have been crap, and uh, the, the characters might have been awful, but uh, if we only look at the acting skills of the individual f adult pretenders in the Rings of Power show, the best actors, hands down, are the Ardar character, and the, during the fourth character. Now, given, yes, Adar is uh, Amazon's original character, never appeared in Tolkien's text, obviously, and during the fourth only appeared in the text as a name, uh, as a part of a family tree. One of the Durins, who, of course, there were multiple of them, and uh, the dwarves actually believe, very simplistically and simply said, that each and every Durin is a, like, a reincarnation of the original King Durin. Uh, but, uh, yeah, all right, so... Amazon, they decided to do this. It's like one of the lesser crimes they did against the law. But um, if I really had to give that award to one of the two supporting actors from the Rings of Power, Rings of Prime, it would probably be to Maul uh, for his portrayal of Adar because... Yeah, I know, he's a he's a good actor. And if the show was a standalone show, not calling itself The Rings of Power, I would say, well, it's still shit, but that Adar character at least was very well portrayed by the actor. So let me know in the comments down below what you think. Uh, is this coping? Is this chilling? Well, of course it is. But how much of a showing that is? Let me know in the comments down below. And that will be all. Thank you very much for watching. And Namarie.